What do people and organizations that use LEGO Series Play have in common? One thing that seems to stand out is that they're really looking to have engaged people who are creating real impact in shorter time. And they all somehow have a need or a desire to take whatever they are doing as their business or their work or to a new level. They're not just enough for them to sort of have this continuous improvement. They somehow want to take it to the next level, have a paradigm shift. If they want to be competitive, they want to be more com competitive, but not just a little bit more competitive, but on a different level. And they somehow have realized that in order to do that, they need to break their habitual way of thinking. They need to do things in a different way than they normally do. And they also know that they need to release new knowledge, more new, new potential, get new ideas on the table. <coughs> and they know they need to engage people, every individual that they have in the organization in what we call a 100-100. Because if they don't do that, then they also some gut feeling, we're not going to be able to have this paradigm shift. If we keep doing the same thing, we think the same thing we've always done, we're also going to get to the same place where we've always been. And they want to go to a different place. To get to go to that different place requires a couple of things that they're also looking to get from this. It, it, uh, if we may take some breaks here, it requires that everyone that's in that workshop leave with a full commitment. And commitment is the voluntary choice of acting when nobody's looking at you. This creates that engagement we spoke about before. This creates the speed to action. So they want that full commitment, that voluntary choice of acting when nobody's looking. And they know that to get that commitment, what they need is for every single person who's involved in this to be fully confident to be fully confident in what was decided and what formed that decision was that all the knowledge was unlocked. So to get the commitment, they need everybody to be confident in the decision and in the process. And to get that confidence, what they're really looking for is the unlocking, as Robert said, the unlocking of all the knowledge, of all the insights that was there, hence the 100-100, which means that 100% of the people are involved in it at all times. So everyone is there all the time. So they're also looking for that 100-100, which is so difficult to create. And this that has, was. from the very beginning, been the core purpose of LEGO Series Play, to break your habitual way of thinking and doing stuff right. Now, it so happens to be that the latest research within organizational development in terms of what actually make people engaged in a workplace, what make them stay at a workplace, what make them contribute more at a workplace, what make them do more at a workplace, <coughs> falls in line with this because research shows that if people can see the purpose of what they're doing and this purpose somehow is clear to them, if people feel some sense of belongingness, which they will do because of this process. If people feel that there's room for personal growth and development and involvement, then this will happen too. And fourth, if there's leadership that facilitates these three components and purpose, sense of belonging, personal growth, then people will produce more and they will be more happy doing it. So by chance, research also shows that this is probably why you should be interested in legal space. So if this is not important for you as a leader or as an organizational person, don't spend time on exploring Lego Series Play.